Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Dwayne Wade explains why he snubbed Carmelo Anthony in an NBA game. Dwayne Wade recently appeared on the 7 p.m. in Brooklyn show and recounted an incident where he ignored Carmelo Anthony during a shootaround, a moment that left Anthony puzzled. Wade explained that his behavior was a result of adhering to the strict heat culture that the Miami Heat organization is known for. Dwayne Wade, heat culture is what Melo had talked about on the show when he said that I ain't talked to him. Carmelo Anthony, he didn't Dwayne Wade, that's heat culture. Carmelo Anthony, as a friend, you should explain that to me what heat culture is. Dwayne Wade, I was going through it in real time. Normally, when you come to shoot around, the other team is off the court. So I don't think I have to explain anything. I walk in, and I've never seen anything like this in my life. Mello and Kenyon Martin and all of them, they're in there with do-rags on, chains, it looked like they went from purvey or opium right to shoot around. I have never seen that before. Now mind you, we're coming in with shirts tucked in, ankle braces on, tape, military-like. They're in there shooting shots from the other side, from the bleachers. Unlike, what is going on in here? So I'm not giving them any eye contact, because Riles is pissed. I'm guilty. I'm tying my shoes, exercising, and Mellow's like, D. Wade. I'm like, nah, man, I can't do it. I can't look up. In a previous episode of the show, Anthony had shared his confusion about Wade's behavior. He recounted how he tried to get Wade's attention during the shootaround, but Wade only responded with a passive nod. Anthony was taken aback by Wade's strict adherence to the Heat's rules, which prohibited players from interacting with opponents during pregame activities. Laughing as he narrated the story, Anthony admitted that he was completely puzzled by Wade's passive nod and the serious demeanor of the entire Miami Heat team during the shootaround. He felt it was bizarre to see them act like a disciplined army group. However, after the session, Wade immediately called Anthony to clear things up. Wade revealed that the Heat's strict policy forbade any interaction with opponents, which is a core aspect of their Heat culture. This story highlights the intense discipline and focus instilled by the Miami Heat organization, even if it means momentarily snubbing close friends. The Heat culture may be alienating, but it undeniably delivers results. Over the last two decades, the Miami Heat have secured three NBA titles, tying them for the second most championships in that period. Even more impressive is their consistent performance in making it to the finals, with seven appearances, the highest in the league during that span. This success can be attributed to the heat culture, a term that embodies the team's rigorous discipline, unwavering focus, and relentless work ethic. The culture emphasizes physical conditioning, mental toughness, and a no-nonsense approach to the game. Players are expected to adhere to strict rules, including rigorous training regimes, dress codes, and conduct both on and off the court. This high standard of professionalism is not just a guideline but a fundamental requirement for anyone who wears the heat jersey. The culture can be alienating, particularly to those not accustomed to such stringent expectations. New players often find the transition challenging, as the environment demands a level of commitment and discipline that can be overwhelming. The focus on team over individual accolades can also be difficult for some to adjust to, especially those who have thrived in more relaxed environments. However, the results speak for themselves. The Heat's approach has fostered an environment where talent is maximized, and the team consistently competes at the highest level. Miami Heat rookie Pell Larson gaining more comfort each day. For Miami Heat rookie Pell Larson, it's all about learning. He's at the stage where reps are the most important part of his development. The progress is coming along nicely, especially after his big game Sunday against the Golden State Warriors in the Las Vegas Summer League. He finished with 21 points, 6 assists, 4 rebounds and 4 steals in the 102-99 victory. 
Larson shot 6 of 13, making two three-pointers and going 7 of 7 from the foul line. The win pushed the Heat into Monday's championship game against the Memphis Grizzlies. You just got to play, learn from your games, Larson said recently. I think I've done that. It's just more and more games, you get used to it. The Heat chose Larson with the number 44 pick in last month's NBA draft. Larson, who played at Arizona, is averaging 11.8 points, 3.8 rebounds, and 3.6 assists in five summer league games. He and first-round pick Kellel Ware should compete for playing time this season. Larson is in the mix with Duncan Robinson, Josh Richardson, and Alec Burks for minutes off the bench. Just more reps, you're going to learn, Larson said. I'm just excited for the next game. Larson has one more game to continue the growth. The Heat enter Monday's title game with a serious approach, we always want to win, Heat Summer League coach Dan Bisacho said after the game. So no matter what, when we have an opportunity to win a championship, of course we're going for it. It doesn't matter if it's Summer League, it doesn't matter if it's some kind of spring ball. Whatever it is, we're always going to want an opportunity to compete for a championship. Grade the trade, Los Angeles Lakers land Jimmy Butler, otherwise Heat could lose him for nothing. Jimmy Butler's future in Miami seems to be coming to an end since the superstar is reportedly not going to sign an extension with the Heat as his eyes focus on free agency. The Heat have made it clear that they won't simply give in to Butler's demands and Pat Riley himself wants to win an NBA championship at all costs as he values that over loyalty. To make things interesting, Butler sparked some social media craze by admitting how good the purple and gold looks. To continue the talk, we propose a blockbuster trade that would involve the Miami Heat sending Jimmy Butler to the Los Angeles Lakers. If this blockbuster trade were to be finalized, this trade could reshape the Western Conference landscape. Butler, a proven all-star and defensive stalwart, would join forces with LeBron James and Anthony Davis to potentially form the most formidable big three in the NBA. This acquisition would not only signal the Lakers' commitment to remaining competitive as LeBron James approaches 40 years old, but also position them as immediate contenders for the NBA title. Adding Jimmy Butler to a lineup already potentially featuring LeBron James, 25.7 PPG, 7.3 RPG, 8.3 APG, and Anthony Davis, 24.7 PPG, 12.6 RPG, 2.3 BPG, would instantly elevate the Lakers' championship pedigree. Butler brings a unique blend of scoring prowess, defensive tenacity, and playoff experience, making him a perfect complement to James and Davis. His ability to create his own shot and excel in clutch situations would add a crucial dimension to the Lakers' offensive arsenal, alleviating some of the scoring burden from James and Davis while enhancing their defensive capabilities on the perimeter. The prospective Lakers' starting lineup with Butler, James, and Davis alongside potential role players like Austin Reeves and Jared Vanderbilt promises to be a nightmare matchup for any opponent. Reeves has shown potential growth as a defensive specialist and reliable three-point shooter, 36.7% in 2023-24, while Vanderbilt's energy and rebounding prowess could provide invaluable support in the front court. With this lineup, the Lakers would not only boast elite offensive firepower, but also potentially possess the defensive versatility needed to shut down opposing teams. If this trade scenario comes to fruition, the addition of Butler would ensure that the Lakers remain a force to be reckoned with in the Western Conference, potentially setting the stage for another championship run in Los Angeles as LeBron James navigates his late career stages. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Jimmy Butler? Leave your opinion in the comments.